Hello and welcome to each one of you to this new episode of Online Lessons. Without further ado, let's begin. Today we'll be looking at Database Part 2, Query. So, what is a query? A query is a request for data or information from a database table. In simpler term, a query can be defined as searching for data in a database. This search can be conditional or unconditional. That is, we can add conditions for the query or without any conditions while making use of a query. Creating queries. For the purpose of this lesson, a database named student created an access will be used to demonstrate how queries are used. The following is part of the database. So we have a database uh, student. So we have student ID, student name, surname, class, English mark, uh, French mark, maths mark, ST mark, total mark, and average mark. And we are going to make use of this table student to create queries. To create a query, a user will have to firstly click on the create in the ribbon of access, click on query design in the queries section, choose the required table from the show table pop-up, click on add and close the show table pop-up. So we are going to see how to do this part. So here we are in access in the database student. So following the instruction we have said earlier, we are going to cl click on create. In the query section, we are going to click on query design. And in query design, for this case, we are going to add the student table and then close the show table pop-up. So the screen below is obtained after the previously described steps, after doing the previously described steps. So we have, firstly, the table that has been added, in our case, student. And below, we'll be having uh, a, a table-like interface, where the first part is the field name used for query. The second part is the table from which the field comes from. Next, sort. Specify whether the field should be sorted in ascending, descending, or not sorted. The show. Specify whether the field should be shown. Check to show. Uncheck to not show. And lastly, the criteria. Specify conditions used in the query. So we are going to look now at a few examples of how queries can be performed on the data database student. We have four queries that we are going to see. So firstly is create a query to display the student ID, name and surname of all students. Second query that we are going to see is uh, a query to display the student ID only for student with marks, English mark less than 50. Third query is to create a query to display the student ID and surname of student in ascending order. So the surname of students should be in ascending order with French mark and ICT mark greater than 50. So here we're going to look at N conditions. And lastly, create a query to display the student ID and the name Student ID, name, and average mark in descending order of students. So average mark should be in descending order with maths mark greater than 50 or total marks greater than 300. So here we are going to look at all conditions. So here we are back in Access. Uh, we are trying, we are going to try to create the first query described in the question previously. We had the first query to display the student ID, name, and surname of all students. So to do this, we'll go in the field section, choose student ID, then student name, and lastly, student surname. 
once we have completed this we are going to click on the run button on the top in the ribbon to get the result this was for the first query we have the student id student name and student surname given to us from the database and you can see that in this question we had no condition whatsoever for this query an unconditional query for the second example we had to create a query to display the student ID for the student ID only for students with marks English mark less than 50 so we here we have to choose student ID and English mark these are the only two fields we're going to work with and given that we have said to show only student ID uh, for marks for English marks less than 50 we're going to uncheck the show for English mark however the criteria should be less than 50 and again we are going to click on run to get the result we have only one student as 006 whose English mark is less than 50 the next example is to create a query to display the student ID and surname of students in ascending order with French mark and ICT mark greater than 50 so here we have to display the student ID and the student surname. The student surname should be displayed in ascending order and the criteria should be that the French mark and the ICT mark both should be greater than 50. When we have the end condition, the criteria should be on the same line. All the conditions should be on the same line when we make use of and. We're going to uncheck these two because we don't need to see these two columns. We're going to click on run to get the results. So you can see we have the student ID and the student surname given to us for students who have French mark and ST mark greater than 50. Last example, we need to create a query to display the student ID, name and average mark in descending order. So the average mark should be in descending order of student with maths mark greater than 80 or total marks greater than 300. So, again, we are going to make use of student ID. We will have to make use of the student name and the average marks. Yes. For students having math mark greater than 80 and total mark greater than 300. So, we are going to uncheck these two because we don't want to we don't have to show these two fields so greater than 80 or so or will be on a different line same line and different line is or so or total mark greater than 300 uh, and average mark should be descending so we're going to run this query to get our answer so here are the results of this query so a quick uh, view so we have student Evelyn so Evelyn has 99 in math so it goes for the first condition so that Gerald Gerald has 67 in maths however the total mark of Gerald is 315 that's why it's being displayed over here. Carl and Alan both have math greater than 80. So that's all for today. 
Thanks for watching. If you have liked the video, please subscribe. Click on, click on the thumbs up and leave a comment on how you can improve this channel. Until then, see you guys next time.